Daisy serves as a challenging survival experience for newcomers, presenting a steep learning curve. To navigate the treacherous landscape effectively, beginners must heed these fundamental tips. 1. Loot selectively. Prioritize essential items for survival, base building, or combat, ensuring a streamlined inventory for quick access. 2. Opt for practical backpacks. Avoid the misconception that larger backpacks equate to better survival odds. Oversized bags increase visibility to potential threats and hamper mobility. Choose a backpack that balances storage capacity with stealth and agility. 3. Water safety. Hydration is crucial in DayZ, but not all water sources are safe. Depend on public water pumps in urban areas for clean water. Purify questionable water sources with chlorine tablets or by boiling to prevent waterborne illnesses like cholera. 4. Improvised healing. When medical supplies are scarce, utilize alternative items like rags, sewing kits, or bandanas as makeshift bandages. Prioritize disinfecting these items to prevent infections. 5. Vigilance against infections. Treat wounds promptly to avoid potentially fatal infections. Keep alcoholic tinctures, iodine, or disinfectant sprays on hand to sterilize makeshift bandages and prevent the spread of deadly pathogens. 6. Confirm your kills. It is imperative for new players in DayZ to confirm their kills without the assistance of a kill feed. Merely observing a player falling to the ground does not always signify their demise, as they may have been rendered unconscious instead of being killed outright. This can mislead inexperienced players into thinking their adversary is dead when they are actually incapacitated temporarily. It is crucial for players to exercise caution, ensuring they deliver the final blow before letting down their guard and looting the fallen enemy. Unconscious survivors exhibit specific postures and visible breathing patterns, enabling players to differentiate between incapacitated and deceased opponents efficiently. 7. Combat is not the only option. While engaging in combat is a significant aspect of DayZ, players should also consider alternative strategies. Maintaining a stealthy and cautious approach to evade drawing the attention of hordes of infected is advisable. However, in unavoidable situations where confrontation is inevitable, retreating to a secure location is a more practical course of action than directly engaging the overwhelming number of foes. Tactics such as luring zombies into buildings, exiting from alternate routes, and securing them inside can effectively mitigate the risk of being overrun. Leveraging elevated vantage points inaccessible to infected adversaries, such as vehicles or rooftops, provides players with a strategic advantage to engage and eliminate threats from a safe distance using melee weapons. 8. Stay warm to stay healthy. Sustaining prolonged exposure to cold temperatures, particularly while wearing wet clothing, poses a significant risk of illness in DayZ. To combat this threat, players must seek shelter during rainy weather and employ methods to dry their damp or soaked items near a heat source. By wringing out wet attire to expedite the drying process. 9. Stay stealthy. For players who may not be experienced with Daisy gunplay, stealthiness can be the secret weapon for survival. When traveling, survivors should wear darker colors and embrace the cover of the tree line while avoiding hillsides, roads and trails, which make them easy targets. Although light sources may be comforting, players should only use them as absolutely necessary, as these make players extremely vulnerable to detection. For situations requiring audio stealth, players can make improvised foot wraps out of rags, which are far quieter than regular footwear. Additionally, an improvised bottle suppressor can also be created using a plastic bottle and duct tape, allowing for quieter gunshots when hunting or sniping. 10. The condition of weapons matter. In DayZ, items have varying condition stages, ranging from pristine, worn, damaged, and badly damaged. Each step brings the object closer to the ruined state, where it becomes useless. The condition of any item significantly impacts its functionality. For weapons, gun attachments, and ammunition, the state affects the firing rate, the likelihood of jamming, and accuracy, which means that the maintenance of a weapon can be the difference between survival and defeat in a moment of combat. Players should therefore practice good preservation of their gear. 
Various items such as gun cleaning kits, sewing kits, duct tape, epoxy putty, and sharpening stones are invaluable to restoring items including firearms, helmets, armor, and tools. Thanks for watching, 10 tips for noobs, if you found the video helpful, leave a like or a comment. You could even subscribe to Spuds Games. Catch you next time.